Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, today, we're having our program Sweet Incense. If you are in the city of Abuja, don't miss this meeting. It's taking place today by 6 p.m. at the Holy Studio, Uye District, near Shefa or Shafa Filling Station. I don't want you to miss this. The, the, the address is on, on your screen and every other information you need is on the screen. If you are in doubt, call us and we'll give you direction to the place. But it's, I sincerely don't want you to miss this meeting. Why? Because the Lord have said, as we bring forth the sound, it is a worship meeting. As we bring forth the sound to the Lord, guess what? He will release mercy upon your life. I shared with you yesterday how God had to change time because of one man. He had taken counsel of this man's death, but he had to change it because the man asked for mercy. Thank you, Jesus. I told you I'm going to pray for you today. Plan for this meeting, praise God. Can we call forth our daily bread? Say, Father, I demand from your hand right now my daily bread is coming to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. The earth is full of God's mercy. How many of you have missed your timing by procrastination? How many of you have missed your timing because you were not in tune with the Lord? So you acted in disobedience even when God was instigating you to act in a certain way at a certain time. How many of you have missed the season you, were, you ought to have gotten married? How many of you have missed the season you ought to have gotten that break? But you were just not in the right place. The earth is full of God's mercy. The earth is full of God's mercy. The earth is full of God's mercy. He says, I am God. Is there anything too hard for me to do? Oh, some of you don't understand. I, you know, I'm sharing these things so that you on your own, you begin to deal with the elements of this world and, and, and begin to make advancements in your life. <laughs> you see, when you do things on time, please understand me. When you do things on time, it's like one who is going with the tide. Now, if you've ever been to a riverine area before, you will notice the tide movement of the river, okay? Now, in the morning, you may see it moving to the right. Then later in the evening, you'll see it moving to the left. That's the water now, the, the, the water in the river. Moving, you just see it moving to the right, and then the other one moving to the left. Now, if you want to travel, or if you want to go by boat, and you study the tide so you know the direction you're supposed to go. Now, when you study the tide and you know that, okay, I'm going right. So in the morning, the tide goes right. So you now plan your trip that I've got to leave in the morning so that I'll follow the tide. Now, what happens when you do things that way? That's doing things on time. What happens to you? You apply less efforts trying to control your boat or move your boat because the tide will carry your boat in the right direction. All you need to do is to give it balance. If you come to travel against the tide, what that tells you is you are going to apply a lot more pressure which will tell on your body. It doesn't mean it is not possible it means you're going to be applying a lot more pressure. Now, by the wisdom of God, men have come with innovations. 
like the engine boats. Now the engine boats, if you're going against the tide, makes it a lot easier for you to move against the tide. So you are supposed to go in this particular direction, but the tide is going in this direction. But then with an engine, you can now move and get to where you're going on time. So the engine was, was an innovation to solve this problem of people not going at the right time. By, but by the use of an engine, the boat goes, even though against the tide, it still meets up time. So the fact that you have missed your timing doesn't mean it's all gone for you. No. There is always a technology in God that will still bring into alignment only if you will follow him. Only if you will follow him. I'm going to be praying for you. Because the stars carry your timing. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever you have missed in your life, ministry-wise, family-wise, finances, career-wise, can you believe this prayer? I want to pray for you right now. You know, Jesus said, I must walk the walk that God has called me while it is day. For the night comes which when no man can walk, who can walk. And another time he says, my meat is to do the will of my father and to finish his work. He will do the work when it is daytime. Because the light is shining. And what he meant by that, it's not just talking about walking only in daytime. It doesn't work at night. That's not what he was referring to. He was referring to the light of his work. As long as the light of his work is manifested, he wants to finish his work. Have you missed the timing of your light? This is the hour for you. Because I sense in my spirit there is a redemption that God is going to bring coming these few days in your life. There's going to be a redemption of time. Now, miraculous things are going to take place in your life. I'm telling the truth. Within the next one week, trust me, within the next one week, miraculous things are going to start taking place in your life. Things you have lost, you will get phone calls that it has been found. Things you have forgotten. Because when God is, is, is redeeming time, a lot of things are going to come to light. It's a dangerous prayer I'm about to pray for you. But it's for your good. But when the manifestation of that prayer begins to come, keep quiet. It's none of your dealings. It's none of your doing. It is the Lord that sampling it. So everything you have missed in your life, every setback that have taken place in your life, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, just like you did for Hezekiah, I entreat you now for these ones that are standing in faith and in agreement with me. Rewind time for their sakes. <laughs> Father, rewind time for their sakes. Mm. 
Let their lights, the light that carries the vision that you have placed in them, let the lights be brought again. Father, it's a request. The light that carries their healing, the light that carries their restoration, let the light come again. Let that star arise again. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let that star arise again. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. The lump in the breast. I see, I, I see surgery. I say surgery being, I, I just saw a cut in the breast and, and something taken out of it. Therefore, I command that lump to heal completely in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, there's, there's supposed to be an appointment with a doctor that you're waiting for, but you don't need that appointment again because you can begin to check and feel it. The lump is gone. I saw the Lord take out. And it's his mercy he's, he's showing to you. Yes, it's gone. It's gone. Now, they would have told you that that thing is cancer. Well, it's, it's a lump. You can feel the lump. But I saw the Lord open it and, and remove something from it. And it's gone. It will not return in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, let that cut be healed right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I see restoration taking place. I see restoration taking place. Several things. I'm just seeing several things. Yes. People's minds are being restored. People's minds are being restored. As though I, I, I see a man, as though I see you becoming young again. I, there's a restoration of your age. There's a restoration of your age. Actually, something has to do with your mind. Something that has to do with the restoration of your mind. So I saw a renewal taking place. You were old, but now you're looking young. So God is restoring something in your life. God is rejuvenating you. Ayabado preneshuda adepe nakadish. Oh, la bero veno praita shakwa dingo ne manangre dene edis kabina ba. I see jobs being restored. Jobs that have been lost. Jobs that have been lost. I see them being restored. You, they are calling you back. Yes, they are calling you back in the name of the Lord Jesus. Businesses, I, I see someone, a particular business that you used to do before. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, this business is a regular business as though you used to supply something somewhere. And for some reason, they took that thing away from you. They took that business away from you without any explanation. You know, you just notice they were beginning to behave somehow. And then before you know what's happening, someone else is now doing the job. They didn't give you an explanation. And I think you were trying to fight, fight the whole thing. But hear what the Lord is saying to you. I, 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 I saw that thing being restored to you. I saw it being restored to you. Can I tell you something? That thing was taken away from your hand by a manipulation of time. Yes. It was taken away from your hand by a manipulation of time. But now God is restoring it to you by a manipulation of time also. Praise God. And I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, no man can touch your timing again. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I lock that business to you. You will do it until you are fully satisfied. No man can take it away from you. 
Receive it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> oh, Father, we give you glory. We give you glory. <laughs> Restoration is taking place. Restoration is taking place. I see a lady, you, you got pregnant and you had a miscarriage. This was some years ago. And since then, it's been difficult. Actually, you've had a dream of someone telling you that you will never have a child. Yes, you had a dream. And in that dream, somebody was telling you you will never have a child. I speak over your life. It wasn't God that said that you will never have, have a child. Because I, I see... This thing. Now, if we go into how the devil has manipulated people's lives with using the, the, the stars, that's another, you know, sometimes I, I don't like going into, I, I like to keep it on God's side. You know, you understand what I'm saying? So all those jargons, they are unnecessary for you, but they are, they exist. Okay. But I, I like to just dwell with the mind of God and deal with issues with the mind of God. And save you all the trouble. But I, I see this particular lady. Someone had manipul done some manipulations with, with the stars. And that's what affected that miscarriage that you had. Listen to me. Listen to me. By the Spirit of the Lord God. Now what God is actually doing is he's rewinding time. <laughs> yes, it's your winding time. You would understand. But I speak to you by the Spirit of the Living God. I see you having three children. I see you having three children. And it's a mixture, male and female. I see you having three children. Now, this, this miscarriage has happened over some four years. Now, you've been trying everything to, to, to take in, it just not working. You don't even know what's going on. But it's over. It's over. You can begin to rejoice. It's over. It's over. It's over. You are receiving your children. I see you having three children. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Father. You are doing that which we have asked of you. Yes. Yes, you are doing that which we have asked of you. And we say thank you for it. Hallelujah. 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 Listen, restoration is taking place right now. Restoration is taking place. Old friends are calling you. Things within this one week, you're going to see things that as though things are going to repeat themselves. And this time you'll be well positioned to take advantage. I pray for you that the Holy Spirit will guide you by the hand. You will know what to do again when time comes to you. Your, I, I see your star rising again. Hallelujah. 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 I see your star rising again. I see opportunities be, that have been given to you before. And you misused it. Yeah. I, I see those opportunities coming again. But this time around, be well positioned in character, in your mind, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Receive what the Lord is doing right now. Receive what the Lord is doing right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I, I, the Lord is showing me a lot of things. I'm seeing. I see someone, you're a pastor. There's this location where your church is. I, I'm seeing an, a, a compound and the church is somewhere in the middle of the compound. Not, not a fully built church, but a temporary structure. And you've been praying to the Lord for increase advancement but for a few years you've been in that place and nothing seemed to be working now the lord opened my eyes to see something that was done in that place but i saw the lord taking you back somewhere now this particular person you're going to have a dream 
And the Spirit of God will give you a clear direction in that dream that you're going to have. Now, this what the Spirit of God is going to tell you now is something He had told you before. But even as I speak now, you may not remember. But when you have that dream, what, he, what I see the Lord doing, He took you back in time. And He repeated the instruction He gave to you that you didn't carry out before. That instruction is coming back to you. And this time, hear me, rise immediately and fulfill that which God has commanded you to fulfill. And your ministry will blossom. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Everybody at the, under the sound of my voice right now, receive restoration of your timing. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let your star rise again. And you will find yourself at the right place. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. I would really like to hear from you. As God begins to do these things, as you begin to experience, if God have healed your, you, you know, healings just, we're just taking place as we're praying. And it's still happening right now. But I'd like to hear from you. Praise God. Call us. Let us know what God has done in your life. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember this evening by 6 o'clock, join us if you're in Abuja. God bless you. Bye.